So I'm going to show how I'm making feather rests. I recently got a uh, two bows, uh, 1958 Bear Kodiak Recurve and a uh, 1952 Bear Kodiak Static Recurve. And even though they didn't come with feather rests, the 59 did, and I think they look cool, so I decided to make some. So here's a group of some that I made, and now I'll show you how I make them. Uh, I make it, it's, it's a quarter inch tall. You'll see why the curve is what it is in a second. Uh, inch and a quarter long. This has worked for me and my bows. Um, I think the one that's on the 59 Kodiak, if you buy one, they're like $15 and they're 10 to 15. And they're 3 eighths high. I kind of like the shorter. That's really dictated by the way I'm chopping them. You could feasibly come up with a pattern cardboard pattern and cut it out with scissors, but that's hard because the feathers tend to walk away from the scissors. They kind of fold down unless you cut it backwards. It's a pain in the butt. So, I chop my own feathers and I have a feather chopper and you see what I did. <coughs> I took a piece of cardboard and I cut away what will be my feather for the feather rest. This to me is more repeatable than trying to cut them with scissors. So, you want the quill to be thin. There's a scrap of a feather I have. And I cut off that little tail there. I want the quill to be as thin as possible, so I'm going to use my Swiss Army knife scissors, which are perfect for this. To just cut off this extra part of the quill. I haven't found that left or right wing makes any difference. So that is now much thinner. And I set it in here. Hold it in place, making sure my cut line will go through the feather on both sides. Rubber mallet from Kmart, 1976. One whack. And there is a feather. So, scrappy feathers from broken arrows. Same thing. Cut that. Thinner quills are better than thicker quills. By that I even mean the thickness of the base. Swiss Army knife, thinner, check the cut lines, lay that sucker down, one whack, so you get the idea. I'm going to make four of those, because that's how deep I make these, I think, um, the one that's on the 59er is like uh, uh, five feathers wide. But I found with my longbows and these older bear recurves that four feathers wide is enough. And again, I'm just using scraps, obviously, if you had a certain color uh, preference, you could do that. my next scrappy feather. I got another red one here, which I think will work. Ah, that won't work. It's just too much of an angle there. Some brown feather I had laying around. If you chop your own feathers, you probably have a lot of scraps like I do. And this is a good way to use them up. So, or um, you know, you get busted arrows, and you can salvage. I'm gonna I'm gonna go more towards the back to get kind of the thinner part of the quill here, since I got a big chunk. Thinner is better for these things. Alright, so 
Well, there you have it. Four pieces. Almost exactly the same, but slightly different, as things always are off a feather chopper. So, I'll show you the next step. So now I have my four more or less equal pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of double-sided tape. I did also make these gluing them to a piece of leather which you glue to the shelf, but the double-sided tape's easier. So, arrow's going that way, because that's the lay of the feathers. And uh, I want brown to be on the outside. So, the hardest thing is lining up all these little guys. They're kind of squirmy. And uh, I made, made this thing, it's like a little book leaf thing out of masking tape and some panga panga wood veneer I had hanging around that I cut on my bandsaw. And while this isn't like really precise, it's good enough for what I'm doing because I'm not in production on these things. So I put one of them in here on the farthest leaf and I flip that one down on top of it. And by the way, you could do this with cardboard. I'm not sure why I used veneer for it, but I did. Uh, and then I put the next one in there. And I got them kind of sticking up a little bit because I don't really care at this point. It's just a way to kind of hold them. And next piece. Because the hardest thing, if you just try and stick these down to the piece of tape, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So that's in there. And then. I decided, I think I actually built this backwards. Yeah, red's going to be on the outside, brown's going to be on the inside. I don't really care because I'm just making this for a hell of it. So now I got my work knife here. I'm going to kind of push these up a little bit where I can get a hold of them. and put some pressure on my little thing here and even up these ends like that and from here and in my brilliance and wisdom I should have cut my VHB double sided tape this is 3M VHB very high bond uh, 30 second thick it's uh, gray some of them are white. So now I have to hold this with one this with one hand and cut off a chunk of that with the other. And I'm just going to use my dollar store scissors for this. A little more than I need. So that's the sticky side. I'll lay it on top of here and kind of shove things down while squeezing this thing together. If you're good, you could do this without this little book leafy thing I made, but uh, to me it makes it easier. Then the next trick part is the double-sided tape. Of course, sticks to the wood and the feathers. And you want to pull it off so the feathers don't come off. And there it is. And they're pretty well uh, spaced out, stuck together. Give it a little push. PSA tape, pressure sensitive adhesive. So you put some pressure on it and it kind of bonds. And don't be by misled by the this VHB tape. I mean, you can use other types of permanent foam tape. This stuff's pretty strong, and uh, I prefer it. Plus, it's only a 30 second thick. And some of the ones I, I could get at the hardware store were like kind of a sixteenth and more foamy so I like this better because once you put it on the bow it's not all that apparent so again with the dollar store scissors I'm going to trim off everything that doesn't look like a feather so you can see this isn't all that difficult in the front here I'm just going to cut straight across Kind of even things up a little. I 
then go on the other side and cut off everything that's not feather. Now depending on the bow, obviously you could use as many feathers as you want. I used four. And then, last cuts across the back. You see everything lines up pretty good. I'm just going to go as straight as I can. That's it. So I got a nice little feather rest. Like I said, the lay of the feathers is that way. The arrow goes this way. All I have to do to put it on the bow is peel off the tape, stick it down, you know, kind of put some pressure on it. And uh, if you go to peel this off right away, it'll be easy to peel off. But if you let it set 24 hours, it, it grips pretty tenaciously. I've yet to have one come off a bow uh, shooting it. As you can see, that's how it kind of laid in together. And it works. And they're uh, a lot like an elevated rest. They're kind of forgiving. I went with the quarter inch height so it's a little closer to the hand. Um, but they're fun and it's a good winter project and cheap if you get feathers laying around. That's it.